Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a glorious Majikwe game reserve in the northwest province of South Africa. The fourth largest game reserve, I believe, at 75,000 hectares. So really, you never know what is going to happen as you run the corner. But we are off to a great start for Escape to Nature. Good morning, my name is Lauren and I do have Rianne on camera. And we are sitting at the giraffe carcass that we've been sitting at for quite a few days. And it's full. Ugh, it's smelly. I just got a gust of wind in my face there delightful. It's not as full as it was. I mean, there were about 10 hyenas when we arrived earlier. The pied crows are really swooping in now and the jackals uh, think there are only a few. But still, there is life around this carcass. Look who's just arrived. Aha! The situation really has changed now. Jackals have run. Hyenas are not happy. Look at that hyena with his tail up over here. They're putting their tails up. Two of them. Look at that. Tail up means dominance in hyenas. These must be the dominance members of the clan. I don't know what these two are hoping for. They've got their tails up though, but they're not... I don't know whether they're trying to intimidate her, which is not working, or... They're looking for backup. These hyenas are looking for backup. They want to chase her away. That's why they keep turning around. It's a numbers game. They want backup. Look at this, there are four. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this. Not even bothering. Wow. Where's she come from? Because she's not been on this giraffe. I've been here for quite a few days now. And there's not been a lion reported on this giraffe. Those four hyenas could have chased her. They just didn't. Look at this one, this one's going for it, look. Why is it running? Tail up. If all five of them run after her, they'll chase her away. Tails are up, they're going, they're going, look. There's another hyena coming in from the other side. Fascinating. In all my career, I don't think I've quite had a sighting like this before.
all it would take for one hyena to suddenly make the choice to chase and chaos would ensue. But then the opposite could happen where they all just leave it. If the lioness has gone flat, they'll just leave it. It can go one of two ways here. The tails are still up. And this one's leaving. Yeah, we have some elephants that are right in the middle of the road, walking sort of towards us. But uh, there's a game trail that some of them have taken. You should see this young one take that game trail now. So we've got to be a little bit careful because uh, they're all scattered around us. Some of them are in the thicket, some of them are ahead of us. And then some of them are also on the other side of us. So we're just going to make sure that we don't get trapped here. Yeah? Because it's a very tricky environment to work in. Beautiful, look at this. Yeah. So let's see what's going to happen here. We might just need to reverse, but we're just going to wait and see. Okay, I'm just going to start up and reverse. We actually saw the baby running on the road earlier on, bouncing around, being all clumsy and all. Okay, so we already know that there's two calves in this group, but when I look at this big bull over here, it looks like Koli. Um, he's definitely and by far the most dominant bull here on Amakala Game Reserve. And as you can see, he's ginormous. Um, but as we've been watching him, he's been sticking very close with the females at the moment. So I'm not sure if he's already isolated one and has already picked up that there's a female he can breed with. I think that might be the case. So theoretically, he shouldn't go too close to the calves because the mothers will just take them away. But I often wonder what a baby elephant thinks to itself when it sees a great ginormous bull like this, that one day I'm gonna be big like him. He's massive compared to them, weighing almost five and a half tons, I would imagine. It's always busy, I find here. Yeah, it does quieten down sometimes, but it's never long before something else comes in. And um, while we're sitting here, just looking at these beautiful colors, there's hardly any clouds in the sky. There's one or two there in the background. But this is what I've always been talking about, the real contrasts that you get in the desert in particular. Obviously now a little bit later on in the day, so heading towards midday, the contrasts are not as sharp. Um, but even now, it's still, you get these oranges, yellows, browns, blacks, whites, and then the reflection of the blue sky on the water. And it just makes for extreme differences and wonderful photography. Folks, thanks for watching. It's been a wonderful day. We'll see you again tomorrow. My name's Ralph Kirsten. Bye for now.